It's the ECAC Hockey Men's Plays of the Week, and it's Nico Sturm leading things off for Clarkson with this breakout goal coming right off of a Clarkson penalty. Sturm takes a pass from Chris Clack along the boards and picks up speed from center ice, burning a pair of RPI defenders and sneaking a shot past Lyndon Marshall to put the Golden Knights up 2-0. Sturm would add another goal in the third period on the power play as Clarkson would go on to defeat the Engineers 6-0 and improve to 4-2 on the year. Play number two takes us to Hamilton, New York for this shorthanded goal by Brown's Justin Jowan that put the Bears up 2-1 over Colgate late in the second period. Jowan steals the puck away from the Raider breakout, spins away from his defender, and then executes the toe drag and buries with his backhand. It was Jowan's second goal in as many games as the rookie now leads the team in scoring with four. Colgate would even the score in the third period, however, and this game would end in a 2-2 tie. The top play this week is a two-for-one, as Princeton's Ryan Kuffner scored a pair of identical power play goals on Saturday night, both equally as impressive. Take a look at the first one as Max Verano slings a pass into Kuffner, who somehow guides it into the net at an impossible angle for the power play goal. And if you like that, you're going to want to watch this. It was Kuffner from Verano and Tevis. Verano with it here, walking down, and another goal! Same exact setup, same exact result. It may look like the same play, but this one came a full period later as Verano once again feeds it into Kuffner for the short angle power play goal. Kuffner would end the weekend with four goals and six points, leading the Tigers to a 1-0-1 record and earning ECAC Hockey Player of the Week. That'll do it for this week's edition of Men's Plays of the Week, but be sure to stay up to date on all news, scores, and awards by going to ecachockey.com.